Hello folks, this is um, 2023 May June paper 4-2 and the question number is 5. This is concerned with the chapter uh, capacitors as you can see from the diagram. It says uh, two capacitors A and B are connected into the circuit shown in figure 5.1. 5.1. The capacitor A has capacitance C. C and the capacitor B has capacitance 3C. So I can write just write as C A is equal to C and C B is equal to 3C. The EMF of the cell is V. So this is V. The two-way CS yes, is initially at position X, position X, and the capacitor B is initially uncharged. So here the connection is only with capacitor A. So this will be charged, and B has no connection, full connection, so it is uncharged. State in terms of V and C expressions for the initial charge QA on the plates of capacitor A. So we have to go for the charge of A. So its value should be equal to simply QA should be equal to C into V. So actually it is CA into V. So it is equal to CV. So simply it is CV. The initial energy EA stored in capacitor A. So it should be equal to energy stored should be is equal to 1 by 2 CA v squared it's equal to 1 by 2 c v squared so it is 1 by 2 c v squared they are not so much difficult now the two-way switch yes is now moved to position y so this thing is moved here moved here state and explain what happens to the charge that is initially on the plates of capacitor a so what happens is as soon as we move the connection here uh, the pd here are different so that's why charge will flow from here to here here to here until the pds are equal so charge will flow from here to here until p is equal so that's why what happens here is initially uh, it had the full charge it had no charge so what i can say is charge will charge will will flow from from a to b a to b until until they have they have same same potential difference and it is and it will be will be a new value new value value which is different from b different from 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 v so the value is so that is i can say this a new potential difference will be equal to VA is equal to VB and then only the flow of charges will stop. So after VA becomes equal to VB, the flow of charges will stop. So now let me turn it to the another page. So like this. Now show that the final potential difference VB across capacitor B is given by VB equal to V by 4. So we have to find the final capacitance VB here. So now what I mean is, finally, so uh, in the final stages, in the final stages, final stages, QA should be equal to CA into this new VA. So that's equal to, I can write it as C into VB. Then QB is equal to, equal to CB into, CB into VB. So I can write it as, the value of this is CB is equal to 3C as it says here. It is over here. Here we have uh, somewhere around here 3C. So 3C. So it is 3C. So that's why it's equal to 3C into VB. So now the initial charge of A. The initial charge of A. So QA initial. Initial should be equal to the sum of these two charges now. The sum of these two charges, final charges. So which means I must have this QA initial is equal to simply CV. CV is equal to QA is CVB plus QB is 3CVB. So I can cut this CCC which gives me V is equal to V is equal to uh, VB plus 3VB equal to 4 vb so this gives me vb is equal to v by 4 
so the value of VB is equal to V by 4 as required by the question suggest as suggested by the question now it says determine an expression in terms of V and C for the decrease delta E in the total energy that is stored in the capacitors as a result of the change of the position of the switch so initially so initial energy is E uh, initial is equal to uh, 1 by 2 CV square which we have done before now finally we have EA is equal to 1 by 2 CA and VA square so that's equal to 1 by 2 C and VA square is equal to VB square itself VA square is equal to VB square itself that's equal to 1 by 2 C VB is B by 4 and then square that's equal to equal to uh, 1 by 4 square is 1 by 16 so I'll write 1 by 16 into 1 by 2 CV square so I have done it for some uh, selfish purpose of uh, mine let's say now EB is equal to EB is equal to 1 by 2 CB VB squared that's equal to 1 by 2 3 C VB squared equal to 1 by 2 uh, into 3 uh, C V by 4 squared so that's equal to 1 by 4 squared is 16 3 so it is 3 by 16 into 1 by 2 C V square so now Delta E should be equal to this energy 1 by 2 C V square minus this 1 by 16 C uh, into into 1 by 2 cv square minus again this 3 by 16 into 1 by 2 cv square so equal to 1 by 2 cv square is common 1 minus 1 by 16 minus 3 by 16 so this gives us ultimately 314 4 by 16 1 by 4 3 by 4 so it is 1 by 2 cv square into 3 by 4 that's equal to 3 by 8 cv squared so the change in energy is equal to 3 by 8 cv squared so this is the complete answer to this question